Hello friends, this is Dr. R.B. Kuswaha. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we have a case of ankylosis of both carpal joint secondary to the chronic septic arthritis in a 3 months old calf. So in young animal when there is a swelling of the, this carpal joint which is normally supposed to be because of the this navel ail means uh, the infection is through the hematogenous route. So the history of this calf is that when the calf was seven days old, so owner observed a progressive swelling in the both carpal joint and after a couple of weeks, there was spontaneous rupture of the swollen carpal joint. But the main complaint of the owner is that uh, both carpal joint has been fixed and because of the, this animal is not able to walk properly. So on anterior, posterior and mediolateral view of the both carpal joints reveal the reduced joint space and osteophyte formation in both carpal joint. Osteophyte formation was severe in case of the right joint and less in the left joint and that is the reason why during flexion uh, there was no flexion of the right carpal joint whereas the little bit flexion of the left carpal joint. On the basis of history, clinical examination and related Radiography, we come to conclusion that uh, it is very difficult to treat as this stage because it is a healed stage of the, this uh, infectious arthritis. There is no infection, but uh, because of the infectious arthritis, there is a formation of osteophyte. We just advise for the physiotherapy. So, thank you very much for watching the video. And if you like the video, so kindly share with your friends and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you very much.